Trannies are important. Pretty obvious. Didn't need to be said. But how do they work? A manual transmission is pretty simple, right? You're the one manually changing the gears, so there's probably not much to it. But an automatic transmission? How does that thing work? What is a clutch pack? A valve body? What do these things do? Let's find out exactly how automatic and manual transmissions actually work. Manual transmissions are super simple, compared to automatics. If your car is running, the motor is constantly spinning. The bolt is that the crankshaft is a flywheel, a disc that is again constantly spinning. On the transmission side is a pressure plate, which is constantly pressing the clutch pack against the flywheel. When you press the clutch pedal, it deactivates this pressure plate, disconnecting the clutch disc from the flywheel, effectively engaging or disengaging power delivery between the transmission and its further downstream bits in the motor. The gearing system may look confusing, but it's super easy to understand. If we have a left gear and a right gear be the same size, then both will rotate equally. If we decrease the size of the right gear, it'll spin faster, but the torque will decrease. If we increase the size of the right gear, it'll spin slower, but we'll have much more torque. That's generally how a transmission works. You want your lower gears to have more torque to start the movement, but for your higher gears, you don't need as much torque, you just need speed. Think about it, if you've ever been driving up a steep hill, sometimes you may have noticed your car downshifted, as if you drive an automatic. This is because the car needs a little more power to get over the hill. Then we'll upshift going down. So driver gear selection is what changes these gears. The input shaft will spin variably based on throttle response, and the output shaft will spin variably on gear selection and throttle response. So that's manual transmissions. Automatic transmissions do the same thing. Variable transfer power between the motor and the wheels by changing gears, but they do it automatically, pretty apparent to the name. The clutch here operates automatically in the torque converter. Inside the torque converter is one, the impeller, which is attached to the motor. This accelerates with the throttle and flings fluid out and into the turbine. These turbine blades are what actually turn the input shaft, so when the turbine spins, the whole drive line spins. When you're in drive, but not moving, like at a red light, the motor is still spinning the torque converter and impeller, but with such little power being applied, the brakes easily overpower the small amount of torque the motor is supplying. That's why if you smash the gas with the brakes applied, you can sometimes overpower the brakes. But now we know how we're actually connecting power. How does the transmission know when and where to shift? I'm going to go over some newer transmissions with TCMs rather than older cars with more primitive tech. The TCM is a computer. It takes the input from the environment or the driver and computes what gear to shift to. It'll monitor the throttle position, vehicle speed, motor RPMs, input shaft speed, output shaft speed, engine load sensors, transfer load sensors, brake pedal sensors, and driving mode sensors. The TCM will take all of these into account and change gears accordingly. The TCM will then tell the shift solenoid, which is pretty much just an electrical switch which reroutes the flow of ATF to the specific clutch packs to activate. These clutch packs are what actually change the gears. When particular packs are squeezed, they interact with different parts of the planetary gear system. It's a little more complex when we go over them some other time. So when they interact with these gears of the planetary system, they engage and operate a gear. So when they interact with these gears of the planetary system, they engage and lock a desired gear, creating a shift. It's a lot. It's a very complicated system. So if you want a more in-depth explanation, like, comment, or subscribe. Hope this helps. I didn't think I'd get it under three minutes, so thanks for watching.